Hey, happy Monday everyone. Look, I wanted to show you something that I made. I'm in a, um, an altered bottle swap with uh, the Alt Things Tim group and these are the bottles that I made. And I had so much fun doing this that I wanted to show you how I did it. So uh, let me move these out of the way for now. And I found my bottles at uh, Michael's. Um, they're just they're in the wedding uh, aisle uh, like they're called favorite bottles so you know I'm not sure if you don't have a Michaels I'm not sure where to tell you to find them but um, maybe just uh, go to a wedding store or some the wedding aisle of any of um, the other craft stores that you might have so and what I filled it with is I also from the wedding department got um, these little acrylic circles and I bought, I got, let's see, um, these are for some others that I'm going to do, some shelves, and I got some pearls, and these are just some, some gems, a big bag of gems, okay. So what I put in this was um, a mixture of the gems and the pearls and the acrylic circles. And you know you don't want to fill them up. Uh, I think I put it just about halfway so you have something in there. And what I put on the outside to make the texture is DecoArt Texture Glass. And so we're going to um, make one. This stuff is really cool. It starts out really uh, white and milky looking and it dries clear. It takes about 24 hours to dry all the way. Um, I had some really thick areas on this and like right there and it's not quite completely dry but um, normally about 24 hours. And I'm, let's see, what did I put it on with? <laughs> Let me think what I put it on with. I think that I used, let's see, did I use a palette knife? <laughs> oh well, that's what we'll start out with. So, um, I just kind of, yep, that's what I did. So I, I just take it out of there and I'm just spreading it around all over. Some places are thicker than others. And I'm covering. But it's okay like if some places are thin because you want that um, that variation. Okay. I didn't go up on the, the neck, but you can if you like. So I'm just spreading it around. If you don't have uh, this metal palette knife, you can uh, use a scraper maybe or an old credit card, something like that. I don't know if, if a plastic palette knife will work because they, they bend a lot. They're kind of weak. So I don't know. I don't have any plastic ones. Okay. So this is how you get the texture. All right. Then you just set that off to the side. Maybe I got it a little bit too thick in some places. Okay. So you just set that off to the side then for 24 hours to dry. Okay. When it's dry, it looks like this. Now, th this is a couple of the places that haven't dried all the way through yet. You see it's still just a little bit milky but most of it has. I did these uh, yesterday morning. Not yes, yeah, yesterday morning or was it the day before? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, most of this is dried after 24 hours except some of this, but it's underneath so I can work on it. So um, you want to, to clean off your palette knife um, right away. And then it's very, very, very important. Keep this liner. It helps. 
to keep the product moist and it's very very important that you immediately close it up airtight and very tight okay that's DecoArt texture glass so then uh, I wanted some color on it so I decided to use alcohol inks I love alcohol inks and I haven't used them for a while so here's what I decided to use well actually on this one is a little different it's um, watermelon instead of raspberry so let me uh, grab that color as well be right back okay I got watermelon and I also have um, my felt squares uh, what you want to be sure of is that you don't um, you don't want to get any fuzz on here this can be sticky with when you first put the alcohol ink on here it gets a little bit sticky and then it dries nicely so you want to make sure that you use this felt that uh, with the Tim Holtz um, brand and not just any little pieces of felt it, it, I found out when I tried to do one earlier that I got some fuzz stuck to my bottle so you want to be sure that it's uh, a lint free felt and then I saved my belts for these colors so what I did was take my applicator and let's start with the uh, watermelon this time and I put it on here and I put a little bit on my applicator oh I want to tell you too before I get too far that after the um, texture glass dried I also put a little bit of the distressed crackle paint on uh, here and there just in two or three places just for a little added extra thing um, let's see if we can it's like right there it's just kinda you know just a little bit of extra stuff right there that's that's what isn't dry on on this one is the crackle paint it's not quite dry yet the texture glass is dry so um, I did do that on this as well so now I'm going to put the alcohol ink on and I'm going to put my watermelon in here and I'm just going to tap it on here and there at first I was kind of afraid because I thought that I messed this up because I got it too dark and I'm going to put a little bit on the neck as well but later I found out that um, it, j it dries lighter than you think it's going to so now I'm going to put the blue on some of that in there and again I'm just going to tap it around here and there and then last the green and it, it's lettuce um, watermelon sailboat blue and lettuce you can use different colors of course okay now I'm going to put this green on and kind of tap it around in where the other two colors are not now this doesn't really look like it's going to be anything at this point because it just looks really blotchy and that was the part where I was afraid and I thought I'm going to have to find a way to get all of this back off my bottle because I don't have another one made for this swap okay so here we see all the all the blotchy colors right so then you're going to get out your alcohol based um, your alcohol blending solution right there and because of the importance of not getting anything any fuzz on I used a uh, sponge uh, this is a sponge I cut up it's like a wallpaper sponge I get it at Home Depot you've seen them I forget exactly what it's called but it's it's a very lint free sponge so what I did was I took my blending solution and I just put it into my sponge and then I started
sponging on my bottle which causes all this alcohol ink to disperse and to blend and to lighten up. So this takes care of my blotches. And it also makes the um, colors blend a little better into each other and with each other. So you see how that happens? It's not blotchy anymore, but I have some color and it's very transparent. Okay. So then we uh, let that dry. And if uh, you think that maybe, you know, you blotched a little bit of it off, a little bit too much off, then you can always take your felt and go back with it. And then use your sponge to take the blotchiness away, but to integrate it back in there, to blend it back in there with the rest. Okay, so this really comes out a lot better than you think it's going to when you first start um, putting that alcohol ink on there. Isn't that cool? Okay, so I'm going to set this out of the way for now to, um, to dry because, you know, alcohol ink doesn't take very long to dry, but it does make that texture glass just a little bit sticky, so you need some time. Okay, I'm going to get rid of these out of the way. And next I'm going to work on the label. So I took, um, I forget the name of this uh, Tins Holtz Mover Shaper die, but it's the little label one. That, that Maybe that's what it's called, the label die. I'm not sure. Uh, but I cut out, in white cardstock, I cut out a lot of labels because I have a lot of bottles that I need to make. And then what I did was I put the Distress Crackle Paint on these labels and let it dry. And all of these are dry. So then I wanted to put some black soot on there to emphasize the cracks. So that's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to edge around But I'm also going to put that color right in there because I want it to show up my crackles. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a little towel and kind of wipe all of it back off a little bit so that it, it's not sitting on top. And then I'll go back around the edges again. Okay, so that's how we prepare the label. Then I have archival black ink and I have two stamps. I have the globe from the Tiny Things stamps. I absolutely love this stamp set. I have found so many uses for these tiny little stamps. And then I have the Voyage from Classics Number no. 1. Now I have a bottle that I'm taking my inspiration from. Let me grab that. In a, the All Things Tim Birthday Club, last year I got this bottle from Elise and I absolutely adore it. And so I, I used her bottle as inspiration. There's some uh, little pearl beads and things in there. She has a label. It is the same label. And uh, But I think she put um, uh, picket fence crackle paint on there, I'm not sure. And then she hangs a ribbon and a, a, um, a metal disc around it. So uh, I got my inspiration from Elise, but I don't want to make it just exactly like it. So I chose uh, the voyage because I'm sending my, my bottles out in a swap, so they are going on a voyage. So I want to use archival, and first I'm going to stamp my um, globe <laughs> on there, and allow that to dry for a second. And then I'm going to ink up my voyage stamp. I'm going to go right over top of it, like that. Then I'm taking my 
my punch. It's a tiny little like 1 16th punch. Um, you might have a, a different size punch, but I didn't want it to be the, the regular size punch. So I'm just going to punch a small hole in the end there on each end. And then since it is so small, I took my um, whatever this thing is. It's a it's a pointy thing. <laughs> And I'm using it to make my holes just a little bit larger. Just kind of go like that and make them a little larger. That way I get my small hole, but it's it's uh, large enough to get my baker's twine through. Okay. So that's what I used to go around my bottle. I think it's, let's see, yeah, um, about maybe... Let's see how how long this is. It's a little bit too long. It's about 18 inches, and it's more than you need, but that gives you plenty to tie with. Okay, so let me get these out of the way. And my stance. And then I put this, let's see, up through the back on one end. Well, on both ends, up to the back on both ends. And then I take my bottle, which is dry now, and tie it around, whoops, I'm tying it around the widest part of the bottle. Okay, and I'm just going to tie that in a plain knot at the back. I'll show you in a second. I can't do it backwards. Okay, and just tied it like that. And I'm going to make sure that it's tight and make sure that it's at the widest point of the bottle. I'm going to pull it as tight as I can and then just snip off the ends. Okay, so we've got that. We're almost finished. Now I'm using. Uh, oh, I will have to put the name of this in the uh, in the text because I can't remember what they are right now. But they're they're uh, necklace bezeled necklaces, and they come I think ten to a package. And I took a small punch and some paper that I had and punched out. I think this is a half an inch circle, or maybe it's a seven eighths. Let me check and see. No, it's the inch circle. Okay, it's an inch. Um, this came from the uh, the the media mixage papers. That's where I got that from. And I just found little little places in here that I wanted to cut my circles out of. Here's one where I cut a lot of circles out of it and cut a bunch of them. And then I put them inside, you know, I glued them into the bezel. And I put, um, what did I put on here? It's called Liquid Laminate by Beacon uh, from Hobby Lobby ages ago. Um, there also is a paper sealer, a couple of different paper sealers that you can get. Or you can use glossy accents to do this. And then I took... Uh, Rat Tail by Dazzle It. Don't know if uh, Outlaw Women Scrapbook Emporium can get this or not, but this is what I use. And I cut off a small amount. And let's see. Let's try. Let's see what uh, works well with this with these colors. Maybe this rose will work pretty well. Okay, let's use that. So then I just put it, put the cord through the hole there, and tie it right on to the neck of my bottle. Tie it up pretty tight. I'm going to 
uh, make sure there's a little bit of room between your label and your your neck jewelry and then I'm just going to trim the edges and your bottle is done. You see how easy that is? The only long part is waiting for your texture glass to dry and you see that's still drying. You know we've only been on here about 10 or 15 minutes so you're going to have to wait on this to dry but after that you can just make some really cool bottles. So um, the next thing I need to do with this is to fill it up. I don't have a funnel. I wish I did. It would make things a whole lot easier. Um, I have one but it's tiny and it takes longer than it takes for me and my hands to do this. So I'm just grabbing some handfuls and throwing them in there. I think it's uh, two handfuls of these little acrylic circles. And next would be the pearls. I think it's just a handful of pearls, one handful of pearls. Those are more expensive, so use less of them. And then the, the little gemstones. And they go all over the place, but it's okay. Let's pick them up and stick them in there. Put the cork on and you're done. You got a fun altered bottle.